All right, so let's imagine we've uh, created, a, you know, like a couple more uh, reusables, so like for instance, users, we have here just a list of uh, users and so on. And that's all very simple because you, you just need to kind of show and hide a panel and the panel has all the, uh, or the reusable has all the information that it needs, right? So how do we now uh, show one item? How, how can you show just one item, right? Now this one, it gets, um, it's the same principle, the same kind of ideas that we're going to use. So I went ahead and created a reusable here and I called it user details. So it has the same kind of principle. So it's a, you know, like the, the big one I just copied from somebody else. The one big difference is that it has a type of content user. Okay. Uh, and then in here I built something. Well, actually I let the guys from BuildCamp build it for me. Just a, I took a frame and I put some dynamic data here and it just fills in with the first name and the last name of the, of the user, maybe the type of user, and here's a picture. Right, so now how do we wire these things together? First off, we need to go back to the index here. So let me just hide this out. And in here, I'm gonna copy one of these, copy, paste, and so we just move it around, we call it here, user details. I'm gonna clear it out and delete all the children. Fine. And I'm gonna add that user details in here. Let me first add this one. User details, and just put it in there. Also put it zero zero. Now, a couple of things we need to do here. So first, what is gonna show it, right? Because dashboard is not the right tag. So we need to create a new nav so let's go to nav here and we just go yeah user details a little um small details that you know these are going to be like url slugs so if you have a space in there it will work but it's going to be a bit uh, ugly because you're going to have the percentage 0 20 or percentage 20 that's kind of the url um, encoding for a space so if you put hyphens or underscore uh, that will, you know kind of maybe work a little better Right, so this one we can create. We don't even need to add anything here and there because we're not going to be adding any. Um, uh, it's not going to be showing up on our uh, on our navigation bar. Right, so now we can go in here and add that user details. Okay, good. Now this is not going to work. Right. Well, first off, I need to go back to the users, make this navigate somewhere. Right. And if I just say, okay, now navigate to our index page and send, you know, the parameter, so you get an option, nav, and now this user details, display, this is not going to work, right? Why? Because it's not telling that reusable, so it's not telling this uh, reusable here. It's not giving it any information. Like it doesn't know how to find that user, right? It's just gonna navigate and you're gonna get an, an uh, empty template. So how do we pass the information? First off, we need to pass this information over. So I'll go back to the workflow here. And in this one, I'll add another parameter. I like to, the key I like to use is this I for item. And what we do is just the parents group, users, and then here we do unique ID, okay? Now, that's still not going to work, right? We're going to have, let's see here, something users. And then, still not going to work, right? Because this panel doesn't know how to get that information. All right, so how do we fix that? So we know that this thing here has a type, right? It has type user. Now, if I go back to the index and I look at that, um, that content user details it here has a data source right? but we haven't passed it to any data source but we can use the same idea here the url parameter and we say i and again if we just leave the text we have to do the whole do a search for blah 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 this one we know that this user details the type is user so we can just say it look it's a user you're going to find that information in the i boom and it's going to do all the work itself, right? So now it should load and you get the information filled in. A new work for yeah, all of them, right? 
Now, okay, I put this button here, but we're not currently using it, so let's just refactor that little part there. No, user details I need. And whenever this is clicked, I can just go to the previous page. Now, because the way Bubble is working is just changing the URL, kind of uh, doing this, um, uh, this thing there, it should work. Like, it won't work from that point, I think. But here, you go back, you go back, and so on. All right? So this is how you pass information to uh, another element. Like, imagine we go forward and we do the same for spaceships, and we're, we probably have a list of spaceships, and in there, you're going to have also the same button, the details, and then that details needs to... Um, um, you're going to need to pass some information. You can use the same setup, use that I equals to unique ID, and you just need to change the, uh, in that case, we're going to have, um, you're going to have here a, a reusable with a type. And in this case, even though it's a whole different other type, you just need to change it here. Say, uh, instead of saying a user, it's going to be a ship. Right? And that you can keep the mental model small in your head, so very simple. Uh, v shows, I gives detail. V shows, I gives you. Or, you know, one can be, even you can write the whole parameter show and details or items, but this is a way to keep it small, right? 